Hello everyone, welcome to Topic Talk. My name is Christian and this is my dog Lola. Uh, today, as you may notice, my desk looks a little different. We don't have uh, the usual computer here. And that's because we're doing something a little different today. Uh, I'm doing a product review. I, I will be doing product reviews from time to time. But uh, I wanted to add a little bit of diversity to the channel, so I'm doing something different. And today we have with us the Buddha board. Now, the Buddha board is it's a drawing and painting tablet in which it uses water to create paint effect on a tablet and it will evaporate and go away at some point. It is supposed to instill peace in the painter in the sense that it does not have the restraint that if you mess up the painting, then it's messed up forever. It'll eventually go away and you can do it very peacefully and you'll have that sort of zen feeling. So, I'll show you the box up close real quick and then we'll get back. Alright guys, so here we have the Buddha board mini, the box it came in. Uh, and yes, as you'll notice, this is the miniature version. There's a bigger one, around about four times the size of this one. And it costs more, obviously. And here on the side, it says Master the Art of Letting Go. Which works into the point we made about it being a peaceful thing. A uh, very thin box. And on the side here, we have the Buddha Board logo. And their website, BuddhaBoard.com. Okay. On this side, we have another Buddha Board logo. And then the words, Buddha Board. Same on this side, pretty much. And then on the back here, it shows pictures and a description that I will read. Uh, it says, the Buddha board mini is inspired by the Zen idea of living in the moment. You simply paint on the surface with water and your creation will come to life in bold design. You then, as the, slow, as the water slowly evaporates, uh, your art will magically disappear, you, disappear, leaving you with a clean... Slate and a clear mind, ready to create a whole new masterpiece. It is environmentally friendly as it only uses water, no ink, no paint, no chemicals, and it will last for years with proper care. The instruction manual on how to use it. And this is this is actually the bigger one, uh, which that's pretty cool. These are the rocks that you can buy to put into the base of the bigger one but the smaller one you can't really use that this is kind of to advertise their other products very cool and then we have the actual buddha board itself uh mine is kind of smudgy because i noticed that the outside accumulates a lot of smudges and i haven't really touched this a whole lot so i mean it kind of just does that on the inside we have buddha board and then buddha board.com the paintbrush has a clip and then we have the actual tablet itself. Now mine has this like dot right here where you cannot actually paint there for some reason. Now that's probably just mine and it just got weird and you know that's you know it's not really their fault so can't really fault them on that. Here is the brush. Um pretty standard brush. I don't think there is any special anything special about this brush. I believe you can use any kind of brush because it is just water after all. But uh, I have yet to test that out. The bigger one actually has a larger brush and a wooden uh, themed brush. So there are a few basic elements you need uh, to use the Buddha board effectively. First, we have the Buddha board itself. Very small. Not, I mean, not too small. And you open it up and we have this sort of pattern uh, shape here. You got your brush that it comes with and your water to do your actual paint effects, and I'll show you how that works in a second. And when we're all done, put the brush in the Buddha board like that, clips in. And then there you go, you can pack it up, go over to someone's house, whatever, show them. And those are the basic elements. Okay, so I will do my best to demonstrate how the Buddha board works. Here we have the brush, goes into my water here, and you'll see that like magic, and I'm kind of doing this, I'm doing this with like my weak hand, actually it's my strong hand, but like, 
barely any fingers on the brush. But what it does is it makes the water look like black paint. It's quite interesting. You'll see that in the camera view, there's ac it actually looks like there's a lot of water, but really when you're looking at it, you can't really tell. Um, and also I'm in a very lit room, so. And it's quite easy. Um, it doesn't require all that much effort. What you'll see is that the more water you use, the the heavier the stroke gets. See, like right here by the T, and um, it actually makes the paint bleed. So, when doing an actual um, painting where you know you actually care about it, you would not want to use that much water. Like like you know like this. You know I'm not like blotting it down. And I found that the the bigger the stroke or the more that you paint, the longer it stays. If I make like a tiny dot like that, it's going to go away quickly because I used less wa less water. Um, if I like paint the whole thing, it requires more water, so it's going to last for longer. And you could make some pretty cool things with this, you know. You, you really got the actual uh, effects as if it was a brush because, you know, you're you're using a brush. So it looks, you know, as if you're using a brush for real. And looks like actual paint. Um, on the camera, it actually looks very watery. Now that I'm looking at it, and I can actually get a better angle of this. You'll see that you can't really tell. This is what you see most of the time. Uh, it just looks like black paint. From here, you could, you know, since the lights are right there, you can kind of tell that there's a lot of water. And there's this, um, there's this little like catcher area, like right there, like right here. And it catches the dropped water. Okay. Um, if you want to dry it up quickly, I would not recommend putting it under a hair dryer or anything of that nature. Because you can. I mean, I'm not. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure you know you can damage it by doing that. Uh, you may not, and even if you can't, I just wouldn't, just because you know. I wouldn't, but. As you can see, it's quite, quite the product. Uh, I think it's interesting very much. Uh, you know, a good way for artists to just get those quick ideas out. This is certainly not a permanent thing, but that's the point of it, you know? Uh, the point of it is not to feel like you're, it's going to be that way forever. It is not set in stone. That is the thought to keep in mind with everything in these Buddha board products. It is not set in stone. So my opinion on the Buddha board, I like the Buddha board. It is a nice product. I think um, that it really does instill that sort of peace in you. This is a peaceful thing to do. It's relaxing. It is calm. Uh, something to do when you're stressed. You know, you could, you could actually have this at your office on your desk. Have it right here and just go at it, you know. Um, really makes you forget the sort of troubles you have. Um, I like its portability. Uh, I like how easy it is to do. So yeah, that is that is my opinion on the boot board. So tell us what you thought in the comments. Leave us a like. Subscribe if you can. And uh, check out some other videos and show, show this video or any other you find interesting to your friends and family. It helps me out a lot and it sure helps out Lola. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next interesting video. Thank you for watching. See you later.